All right, so this is Simplify 3.0, and uh, if you haven't seen the new version, you can actually import a uh, 3D model of your printer in the, in the actual program itself, which is really useful because it, it helps you kind of gauge scale and size and also kind of orientation on your print bed. So here we see the GMAX 1.5 XT Plus 3D model in the background, and you see the size of the, the print volume and everything. So from here, you want to go ahead and pull in the model that we, uh, we showed you before. I'm going to go ahead and grab it here, and you should be able to just to drag it right in and drop it. There we go. This is the um, the smaller model, and it, it actually looks really small on the print bed, but um, we actually went ahead, we're going to go ahead and scale this even smaller just to print it a little bit faster. So if you double click on the model, you have the options to scale and rotate and change the position. So. We're going to scale this to 75%. Or actually, no, let's, 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 I think it was 50. Let's make it 50. There we go. Now that'll print pretty quick. That's Each one of these uh, markers here is an inch. So that'll be on the base. Just on the base would be just uh, maybe just around an inch. The top will be just uh, no, around two inches. So that'll be a really, really good model. Now, because, as we mentioned before, this model is solid, uh, this has some really good benefits, uh, and uh, this is a, a good way to think about 3D printing. If you make a solid model, you can actually define just the number of walls with zero infill and no top or bottom layer if you want. And that way you can actually print uh, really clean outer edges. That'll just be very continuous, nice, clean outlines. So in this particular case, we're going to go even further and print in a cool mode, which I'll show you now. So... Um, in Simplify 3D, once you drop in your model and you're happy with the scale and the orientation and if you want to duplicate them or anything like that, then you go to Edit Process Settings. What this will do is quickly add a process to your queue with all the settings you can actually start playing with. So in our example, we want to use the um, GMAX 1.5 Plus uh, profile. We're going to set the settings to maybe high for now. Uh, and we're only going to use the left extruder. We're only using one extruder for this, so we're just going to use the, the single left. If you go to layer, yeah, 0.16. Let's actually make it 0.2. So that's 200 micron layer heights. Uh, we're going to use uh, a special mode called uh, single outline corkscrew printing mode, which is vase mode. This is really cool. It only works for certain models, but what this does is... Let me go ahead and actually... I just want to move this over so you can see it at the same time. So what this does is when it's turned on, it'll print the outline continuously, one wall thick, but it'll also raise the z-axis at the same time. So you'll never see the extruder stop and then raise and then continue, stop, raise, continue. What it'll do is just continuously run around the outside. And you'll never have a gap in your model, you'll never have edges, and the prints almost always look amazing. Now, you can only use it for models that have one continuous outline, and there's no internal, like, out, you know, islands or cutouts or anything, so it just has to have one perimeter. And it, you can't use it for models that don't have a flat top, because if you have the angle top, kind of like I showed you before, once it gets to that point, it won't really know how to continue. So in this case, it, this model's perfect for that, because you can, you can just set it right up. Now... Uh, I think in the older version of, of Simplify, you had to actually turn these down, but I think in the new one, you can just turn on single out, uh, single outline corkscrew printing mode, and it will um, it'll adjust all the other settings for you. But basically, when this is on, your top solid layer, layers will automatically become zero because it's not going to print any top layers. Your bottom solid layers you can leave on if you wanted to actually have a thickness or like a bottom layer. Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. In this current version, I think, yeah, the, the top solid layers, you can actually still have a solid top layer, which will bridge across. Well, we don't want any, so let's just set that to zero. Now, your bottom solid layers, you know, we still want to have a bottom to this thing, so let's just keep that maybe at two. Your outline perimeter shells, now that will be overridden, because instead of having three outline shells, you're just going to have one, and that one will just continuously be printing and raising. Um, it'll actually tell you here that it, it'll actually override several of the uh, of the parameters and I think even when you hit OK and, and prepare to print it'll actually tell you the, the parameters that it changes but um, everything else um, just as before 
uh, we want to have zero infill, but because you have corkscrew mode on, this will automatically make it zero anyway. Um, we don't need support. Uh, we're using, as we mentioned, the uh, Polymax PLA. So our temperature settings are very similar to ColorFab. So 208 is, seemed like a great temperature. Uh, cooling, we, just, we set it to be pretty high cooling. And then our G-code start and end. This is all part of our um, of our uh, profile that we, we offer. Actually, this this can go higher. We can make this like 70. No, actually, you know what? Let's make it 55 because there's some pretty fast movements on the edges of those fins. So yeah, so let's go ahead and prepare to print. Now here you go, yeah. It'll override uh, layer, infill support, and retraction settings, which all of which we don't need, so perfect. This is a fairly high quality model. I think the, the larger one is much higher quality, so it might take a minute to slice depending on your, your system setup. But here we go. There's your, your beautiful model. It's going to start with the bottom a little bit slower because it's, it's a smaller footprint. But as it works its way up, it's going to hit around eh, 60, almost 70 millimeters a second. So now you can see... <laughs> that's really cool. This is the actual... Let's go ahead and play it. Oop. Uh, go to by line. And speed it up. Well, the first layer obviously is going to go a little slow. It's going to have a solid first two layers in the bottom, and then slowly just work its way up. Because um, we have our, our uh, acceleration settings to be lower, as it hits these kind of hard edges, it'll actually slow down a little bit. There you go. All right, so now we can go ahead and take it from here. Uh, we're going to put it on an SD card and slide it into the GMAX and start it up. And we have a treat for you that we actually have a really cool time lapse shot with our GoPro that we're going to show you right now. So here it is, the parametric twist lamp base shade thing. So <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the video. We hope you learned something and, and found it useful. Um, please feel free to comment below if you want to see us produce more videos like this or, or let us really know what you want to see us print because we're, we're printing all the time. We love doing it. We love testing and we really want to show people uh, what we hopefully know and, and, and can share. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please uh, feel free if you want to see more of our stuff, subscribe and um, yeah, let us know what you're printing. We want to see it. We want to see all of it, <laughs> big or small. <laughs> Keep on printing guys. Kind of hard to see. Hang on. <laughs> Does it help at all? See some of the fins? <laughs> Thanks, Lego.